having value for education, living within your means. Open-mindedness doesn't mean timidity. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Josephine. I'm a YouTuber based in the Netherlands. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back, okay? Thank you guys for your love and support. It means so much to me, okay? Okay guys, so in this video, I'll be sharing with you guys 10 Dutch habits that I think if you are able to learn from them or imbibe them into your own routine, that it would genuinely make your life much better okay i did get this video idea from a youtuber called samurai matcha i think that's what he's he's called anyway he did a video where he talked about some japanese small habits that you can learn that would literally make your life much better and immediately i saw that video i don't know it just hit me i was like you know what there's still something about the Dutch culture that I feel like if other people around the world could learn one or two, that it will also make their lives much better. So I decided to put this video together and share it with you guys, okay? So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with this video. Now the first Dutch habit that I would definitely recommend to anyone to kind of just inculcate it to your routine is punctuality. I'm Nigerian who is living in the Netherlands and when I moved to the Netherlands, I sincerely struggled with being punctual to things okay it's very common for i don't want to say the whole of africa but at least it was very common in nigeria for us not to show up on time for things especially when they are informal okay we just felt like you know what as long as it's not really like an official stuff we can manage to come three four hours late and that's okay but moving to the netherlands i did learn okay from the dutch culture that this is not normal okay if someone hosts a party and invites you for a certain time that it's actually a sign of respect to show up on time i never even thought about it as a sign of respect for some reason i just felt like i mean if you're my friend and you invite me to something i can afford to come late and not really keep you in the loop and everything would just be fine. So the moment I started seeing punctuality as a sign of respect, it was easier for me to kind of inculcate it into my own habit. Now that we're discussing, you know, punctuality, it takes me to the second point, which is time management. Now there's this joke I've seen around, to be honest. I don't know how true this joke is, but I've seen it quite a lot on TikTok, on Instagram, where you have people, you know, fun of Dutch people that if you invite a Dutch person for maybe a cup of coffee and ask the person when the person will be available, that normally Dutchies will just pull out their calendars and kind of tell you uh, maybe in the next one year, April 28, 2024, something like that. <laughs> and I find it really, really funny. But on a more serious note, I actually think that time management is really important, especially for those who naturally are a bit more chaotic. This is definitely me. So now I am very happy to say that my life has become less chaotic because I've tried my best to, you know, put things down and have a plan. It doesn't even have to be like a very strict plan, okay? It doesn't have to be, oh, I must do this at a certain time. But, you know, having a plan kind of gives me or lets me first of all prioritize to know okay what are the most important things that i really have to assign time to and what are the things that you know i can get away with if i if i'm not able to you know do those things the next dutch habit that i feel will really really change people's lives if they're able to inculcate it into their everyday life is having value for education the netherlands is a third most educated nation in the entire world okay this was actually one of the culture shocks that i had when i moved to the netherlands i noticed that a lot of dutch people are very educated when i say very educated they're very seasoned and educated and when i dig a bit deeper to find out you know why are people why do people really value education i got to realize that it's you know the way that the system has designed it one thing that i absolutely love about the system is that there is room for everybody to get educated depending on what they sincerely want to do. So not everybody has to go to the university, you know, not everybody has to do theoretical things. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that if you're not good at theoretical things, is an excuse to be an illiterate. Do you get what I mean? So even if you're not good at theoretical things, the Dutch system kind of 
gives you other pathways for you to educate yourself. So you have people going to HBO, which is more applied university kind of um, system. And then you also have people who go into more practical knowledge kind of education. So what I admire about this is that everybody gets a good level of education, regardless of the aspect or area of life that you want to be in or the area of life you thrive in. So yeah, that value for education is something that I absolutely admire. How do I think that this can help you in your everyday life? I have seen people who dropped out of school you know they never went to school or never completed education because they felt that the career path they chose is very difficult and because of that like they kind of just com completely took themselves out of you know learning and continuous learning or developing themselves in a specific area that they're good at you can still be educated with things that are not book knowledge with practical things so if you have something that you're good at you can learn more about it you can you know enroll in courses to develop yourself more in that area next Dutch habit that I absolutely absolutely like I've, I think I've made multiple videos about this is a Dutch directness okay directness again in the Netherlands is seen as a sign of respect they would rather be honest and straightforward in their conversation than to be you know dishonest and not you know and try to mince words and not be clear on what they on what they want to communicate to you I personally think is something that if you inculcate in your life will make it much easier. The fifth Dutch habit that I feel if you inculcate into your life has the potential to absolutely change your life completely is cycling, walking, or inculcating basic exercises into your daily routine, okay? Dutch people would cycle to work, it's normal for them to do their groceries, on their bicycles and it's just normal for them to you know cycle take a walk and inculcate all these activities that they actually enjoy doing to their daily life another thing that I've also noticed in the Netherlands is that I've noticed that a lot of people don't necessarily need to be athletes for them to be, have sports membership in different clubs so I notice it's very common for someone to just register in a volleyball club or a football club and just go there maybe once a week twice a week and just do some you know fun activity even if you're not an athlete and I think that's what makes it fun and that's how a lot of them are able to still keep fit even without necessarily having a gym routine you know a gym membership now the next Dutch habit that I want to talk about is work-life balance one thing that I definitely admire about the Dutch is first of all how hard working they are and secondly they know their boundaries when it comes to work okay they're not going to work until they drop that's not the type of lifestyle that is common here I think this mentality is really helpful I think in many parts of the world money is worshipped money is seen as everything people are literally willing to work seven times a week 60 hours a week 80 hours a week if it means that they have all the money in the world and at the end of the t and at the end of the day they keep they trade their health they trade their time with family and friends or time to even do the things that they really enjoy or to get more money so I think learning to strike that balance is something that will definitely make your life much better the next habit that I think we should learn from the Dutch is being prudent with your money and living within your means this is something that I absolutely absolutely love about the Dutchies they are not here to live a life that they cannot afford to please you. <laughs> They're not here to bother themselves. And I absolutely love that culture because, again, I come from a culture where people pleasing is the norm, okay? We want to show you that we have arrived. That culture is not one that necessarily pr promotes, you know, this consumption culture, borrow from here, borrow here, buy, pay next month spending your money judiciously is something that would definitely definitely help to help you to save more money so that you can really spend that money on things that absolutely matter to you okay, now another dutch habit that i absolutely love that has really helped me is that i notice here in the netherlands that a lot of people 
are their own handyman okay because to even get appointments with handyman sometimes you might have to wait for days or even weeks depending on what the problem is i think that has forced people to really learn how to do things or try to do things by themselves first and if they're not able to fix it then they can involve a professional now that i've lived in the netherlands i've actually found it therapeutic to do things for myself you know not necessarily to go out to do things for instance recently i started getting into doing my nails myself and this might seem really basic but the reason why i started doing it was i'm a mom i enjoy cooking i do a lot of house chores as well and because of that if i do my nails professionally i find myself going back again to do it after a week because the nails do not last and after a while even though i really like to get my nails done sometimes i found myself not even bothering at all because i'm like what's the point if i go after like three days or four days it's done but recently you know i started you know feeling like getting my nails done is just a way of me taking care of myself or sometimes not all the time but sometimes you know when i feel like i just want to spend have some me time these are some things that i just do for myself so i learned i got all the equipment i went on youtube i learned how to do just basic coating you know how to coat my nails so that they don't look all messy all the time so i learned how to do it by myself and i've been doing it and i find it really really therapeutic now one thing about the dutch culture that i think is really really nice in my opinion is that the dutch culture is not class conscious okay the netherlands is more egalitarian and people are seen more equally people are treated more equally and i like that okay i like that people are treated with respect i like that people can be seen beyond the money that they have or beyond the title that they have and it has even helped me to develop myself it has helped me to hold myself more accountable to understand that listen if i'm not behaving well i don't have any other thing to offer i don't have any other thing to cover me okay even if i become a billionaire today my money will not will not be an excuse for having a bad attitude and that is in my opinion a life lesson that anyone should pick up from the dutch okay the next dutch habit that i feel if you incorporate into your everyday life would definitely make a big difference is kindness okay what i would say is i have experienced a huge quantity if there's something like that of kindness here in the netherlands okay i've traveled quite a bit i've been to the uk spain italy switzerland sweden germany yeah quite a number of countries here in europe and to be honest i'm not going to lie i have experienced the highest number of kindness here in the netherlands i'm going to tell you a quick story so we i and my husband were in switzerland last year and i was still pregnant with my second son and we traveled with my first son so when we needed to board a train and we needed help you know lifting my son and his buggy into the train when we were in switzerland literally like nobody's gonna help you period you're literally invisible that was how i felt anyway or that was our experience bear in mind that we were in the french size of uh, switzerland so i don't know if this is different in you know depending on the zone or wherever you are i kid you not like that same trip when we were coming back to the netherlands the train that took us from skipo airport to delft central station when we got down from the train when we were about to come down literally i kid you not like three young i think a girl and i think two guys at different times offered to help us lift our boy lift my son from the train down literally so i'm just trying to give an example okay of the type of experiences that i've had here in the netherlands people are just kinder i don't know people just see you you know they're just more humane they're just kinder i don't know if there's anything in the dutch culture that promotes kindness is there something just let me know in the comment section if you're dutch but in general i've just had like 
I've just experienced more kindness here in the Netherlands. Oh, the number 10, that's a very final Dutch habit that I think will definitely make your life better is open-mindedness and tolerance, okay? Now listen guys, I put this point last for a very big reason, okay? Coming to the Netherlands, I would definitely say that I never saw myself as a very open-minded person in the sense that I am a Christian, I grew up in an environment that was more Christian minded or I've always been used to being amongst people that have at least the same basic or foundational values as myself. Even if we disagreed, we disagreed on maybe some other subtle things, not necessarily like the base values, you know, the baseline, the foundational values have never really been different. So moving to the first, moving to the UK and then to the Netherlands kind of opened my eyes to, hey, Everybody doesn't believe what you believe in, you know, everyone doesn't have the same Christian values as you do and that kind of, you know, that shook me, it shook my Christian life, it shook me as an individual because it now began to challenge me to begin to love people regardless of what they believe. But I've come to realize that in our current society that people have kind of mis placed open-mindedness and tolerance to become um, just shut your mouth okay keep quiet so I think there is a thin line between being open-minded and tolerance and then blatantly being told that your opinion doesn't matter anymore and I've come to realize that tolerance mean different things to different people for some people, the only way they would consider you a tolerant person is if you are able to accommodate their excesses or whatever lifestyle that they're living. If you're able to accommodate it and tolerate it and say nothing, then you're considered a tolerant person. In my opinion, that is not tolerance, okay? Open-mindedness doesn't mean timidity, okay? It doesn't mean not sharing your own opinion or being afraid to share your own opinion. Tolerance to me means being able to communicate or have a conversation with someone without first judging them by their belief system. So it doesn't mean that I have to keep quiet. It just means that I am open to have a conversation with you so that we can meet ourselves to a degree that we can work together, right? To me, that's tolerance. It doesn't mean that I have to shut up. It doesn't mean that my values do not count. It doesn't mean that my beliefs do not count. To me, that is not tolerance. This is something I feel you can learn from the Dutch, but always let, uh, take it with some balance, okay? okay. So these are the 10 Dutch habits that I think if you include in your life would definitely make a difference. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Are there any points here that you are like, you know what, I don't completely agree or I disagree with you in this matter or I don't think Dutch people are like this. Let me know in the comment section. I'm very curious to know, okay? Thank you guys once again for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please guys consider subscribing. It will mean so much to me. Thank you once again and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.